guys i am not awake like this mom thing is ghetto oh ah the ghetto the ghetto the ghetto So, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I appreciate you being here. Go ahead and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. Today's video is going to be a makeover of our small bathroom for less than $200. What? Who? What? Less than two? It. yes less than $200 so if you're interested in that kind of thing go ahead and keep on watching you don't have to spend a ton of money to get that beautiful luxury look for less my colors are black and white that's just what I love these days um, and I'm just really into modern traditional modern because who doesn't love a good clean modern look I have a toddler it makes life easier I can see everything I can see the mess I can clean it um, traditional because our home is fairly old if you don't, you why do you look 50 and you're 24 what what did you say but it's absolutely beautiful um so if you're interested again keep on watching i appreciate you being here let's get into it <laughs> hello again and thank you for watching so today we are doing our small half bathroom over so we moved into our new home in december and we have a lot of renovations we're going to be doing and i figured why not bring my family along their journey so for this one we are spending less than 200 dollars getting it together you can see here there is some old wallpaper we decided to sand it down and paint over it so that's what we're going to be doing in here we peeled the plastic off of that cabinet that those cabinets Ooh, I can't even speak to that Ugh. yeah so we peel the plastic off of the cabinets and we're gonna be painting those and yeah so we're gonna start with the cabinets here so I started off with making sure I gave the cabinets a good cleaning I wanted to make sure that I had a really good smooth clean surface to start with my paint now here I have filmed me working on denim's bathroom cabinets as well as the one for this small bathroom now I did the same exact thing for both but uh, you may see some pieces that don't look like they're the same size so that's what that is I filmed denim's bathroom as well as the cabinet tree for our bathroom at the same time so I'm just cleaning it off here and then I am going to spray paint it now for the bathroom that we're working on today I did use the rust-oleum high gloss I thought I got the matte one but it's all good I used the matte one for denim's bathroom which I will share and reveal with you guys at a later date um, yeah so I went ahead and spray painted that and I let it dry for about 20 minutes and then I went ahead in with a second coat Next, I am going in with these super cute cabinet pulls that I got on Amazon, and I will make sure I link and list everything in the description below so you guys have access to those if you have any questions. And it was pretty straightforward. They came with the screws, and you just insert them in the holes that are already existing there. Um, if you see little denim, don't mind. We were having fun that day listening to music. <laughs> Oh, the words I had to say. 
Now this was a little tricky. So for the back, I didn't really want to leave it white. So I went ahead and I got contact paper also on Amazon just to cover the back. Um, I didn't want new cabinets. I didn't feel like dealing with all of that. And it's just not necessary sometimes. So I got some contact paper. I will put that in the description below and I put that on. Just be careful around the edges as well as those little where your hardware is. Just be super careful. Um, I used box cutters. Um, uh, you can use any tool you feel works for you as long as you are safe. Now, as I was going to apply the contact paper, I realized that there were already existing door stoppers. So I took those off, I just popped them off, um, placed them aside, put the contact paper on, and then once I was done, I hot glued them right back on top. It's not completely necessary, but if you have heavy doors and you don't want that banging, it's it's helpful to put them back on. Now the fun part, we are going to move over to the walls. So I didn't film it, but I went ahead and I painted the entire bathroom white. Most of our house, if not all of the house on the main levels are White Dove. The color is White Dove by Benjamin Moore and it's absolutely beautiful. And I am going in now with a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser and I'm just stamping it with no rhyme or reason, kind of messily. I got the idea from the Lone Fox and I love him. So I figured I would kind of do my own rendition of it. And we're stamping, kind of organized, kind of not, just having a good time with it. And over on the Lone Fox YouTube channel, he also used the color Tricorn Black, and that's what I also am using. And I really like it because it's not a super black black, it's kind of like a navy black. Um, and it looks really, really nice up against that white dove, which is also not a white white. It's more like a, <laughs> how do I put it? It's kind of like a yellowy white, but it's, it's, it's white. It's, it's white. It's white. I'm outside in it. Now, I really feel like the key to this design pattern, kind of getting that wallpaper effect, is making sure that you're consistent with your horizontal lines. So making sure that those horizontal lines are even. But... When it comes to the actual individual stamp, it's okay to kind of be imperfect because it kind of gives it more character. As your eye moves across the room, you're able to see different things. If they were all the same shape, it would kind of get boring, right? So if you're in there using the bathroom, taking your sweet time, enjoying your life, um, you're looking at the wall and each individual little stamp is different. Now I know at some point I want to redo these counters, but for the time being, I wanted to get some color in here, something other than white, so I'm going in with a black contact paper, and I'm just slapping that on. This is very renter friendly, you can peel it off at any time, and it is a little frustrating getting it on, but if you take your time, it can be gorgeous. Thank you. 
I would like to add though, when it comes to contact paper, it is very easy for you to get those little bubbles underneath. So you wanna make sure you have a very clean surface and you also wanna make sure you have something to smooth it out with. I was a little ghetto and used a spatula, but you can really do anything. Cause ain't nothing but a G thing, baby. Too low down G, so we're crazy. Death row is the label that pays, man. Unfatable, so please don't try to fade this. But uh, back to the lecture at hand. Perfection is perfected, so I'm a lad, I'm understanding. From a young G's perspective. And before me, they got a trick, I have to find a contraceptive. You never know, she could be earning her man and learning her man. And at the same time, burning her man. Now, if she burning, I'ma chill for a minute. Cause ain't no loving good enough to get burned while I'm offended. Yeah. And that's real of the real deal, holy field. And now you hookers and hoes know how I feel. Well, if it's good enough to get burned off a proper chunk, I take a small piece of some of that funky stuff. It's like this and like that and like this and uh. It's like that and like this and like that and uh. It's like this and like that and like this and uh. Drink creep to the mic. Now it's time for me to make my impression felt So sit back, relax, and strap on your seatbelt You've never been on a ride like this before What a producer who can rap and control the maestro At the same time with the dope rhyme that I kick You know and I know I feel so more funky shit To add to my collection The selection symbolizes dope Take the toe but don't choke If you do, you have no clue Of what me and my homie Snoop Dogg came to do It's like this and like that and here is the final look i really really like the way that it turned out it's kind of a little fun nook in my home and i hope you guys enjoyed watching i did not change the light fixtures we did not change the sink out we just kind of wanted to add some character to the bathroom and make it fun and visually appealing for our guests when they come over again all of the information that you'll need for everything i used will be in the description thank you guys so so much for watching if you are still here like comment and subscribe and i would love to have you as a part of my family you guys have a good one and i will see you in the next one bye